Well, long story short, I made a huge video and it deleted on accident. Oh, yay. So I'm just going to show you what I'm making. So welcome to Melissa's Easy Lazy Cooking Show. Um, so I made a veggie marinara um, and spaghetti squash, which you can make this non-plant-based or plant-based. Um, you can make it soy-free, dairy-free, everything that's bad free. Um, so I'll just go over everything really, really quick. So first thing I did was I cut my spaghetti squash in half and then I put them face down on an aluminum foil um, covered baking sheet after I took the seeds out, of course. So you cut them, you take the seeds out and you plant them down. Um, you can put oil on them, but you don't have to. It's not, it's not a requirement, so just don't do it. Um, and then throw them in the oven 400 degrees for about 45 minutes. And how I check if they're done is I get a fork and I just kind of pierce the back of them a little bit just to see if the shell will like kind of cut through. Um, so put those in there. And while that's cooking, I use spinach, mushroom, and onion. So I chopped up my onion. I chopped up my spinach. Um, and I chopped up mushrooms. Um, and then I sauteed those in avocado oil, which you don't have to use avocado oil. You can use whatever oil you'd like, preferred avocado oil. But, um, and then if you are a meat eater, um, when you first cook the onion, throw and throw your meat in and then throw your veggies in. Then when all that's done, you get your marinara or your spaghetti sauce, whatever, whatever flavor you like. Um, I used da -da -da, this one, but you don't have to use this one. Um, so just mix all that up. By the time all that's done, your spaghetti squash will be coming out of the oven. Pull those babies out, flip them over, and then you're going to put your veggie sauce or your meat sauce, whatever you decided to do, inside of the squash. Um, and then you can cover it with cheese or not. I used a plant-based cheese, but like I said, you don't have to do that. Um, but it was delicious. So I did it. And the cheese, I, the cheese... The cheese, um, <laughs> the cheese I chose to use is um, Follow Your Heart brand, and I used a provolone, but of course you should use, if you're using normal cheese, not normal, um, other cheese, animal product cheese, then you would use, probably mozzarella would be the best. Yummy! Um, and so when all that's together, throw it in the oven. I put it through 350 for about 15 minutes, but everything's already cooked, so you're basically just warming the cheese. So whenever the cheese looks like it's done, then pull that sucker out. Oh, and something else I did, I kind of cheated. Sorry, I know you can't really see my face because the light. Ooh. Um, I don't have fresh basil, so just to make it look prettier, which is exactly what I did, I got some extra spinach, and then I just chopped it up a little bit, and then I put it on top to make it look like basil. So we'll see how that turns out. It's going to be fine. It looks really pretty. Um, let me show you what I got. Bum -ba -da! Can you see it? Oh, yeah. And I use follow, follow your heart slices, not the shreds. Um, just because it's what I had. So I use what I had. Uh, but super easy, super delicious, and really healthy. Enjoy.